Hello, and welcome to session three of the UVM Basics course here on Verification Academy, Connecting the Environment to the DUT. I'm Tom Fitzpatrick, Strategic Verification Architect here at Siemens EDA. Let's go ahead and get started. So just to set the context again, we have our DUT, which is a module. We have a System Verilog interface called DUT IF. This is the structural part that is connected to our class-based environment made up of the UVM test, which is the variable part. Its job is to configure the fixed part, the UVM environment. These are both classes, and the environment includes in it all of the components that we need to communicate with the DUT. In this session, we're going to introduce the concept of a UVM agent, which is a protocol-specific component that is responsible for connecting through the interface to the DUT and communicating with the DUT at the signal level. All of this is included in our top-level module, so when we look at our interface, we see a number of signals inside of the interface, in this case, clock, reset, and data. Interfaces are typically more complex than this, but we're going to use this as our example. The DUT itself has a port connection of type DUT IF, and inside of the DUT, it will refer to signals inside of the interface, in this case, IF.clock. The DUT may actually just be a wrapper that uses the interface as the port, and connect to another DUT inside of it that has signal level port connections. But for this example, we'll just worry about connecting through the interface itself. So the way that we connect the classes in the environment to the DUT is through this interface. And we use what's called a virtual interface. So in System Verilog, a virtual interface is a pointer to an actual interface object. And the way that we communicate it is using the configuration database, which is a series of name value pairs so from the top level module, we pass that virtual interface into the configuration database with a name. The test will then get that virtual interface out of the config database, put it in what we refer to as a configuration object, pass that configuration object down to the UVM environment, which will extract that virtual interface and any other configuration information it may need. And it will pass the virtual interface down to the agent component that is responsible for actually communicating at the signal level to the DUT through the actual DUT interface in the top level module. So let's see how we go ahead and do that. So in our top level module, we instantiate the interface. And in the initial block, we issue a command called UVM config DB colon colon set. So set is a static method of the UVM config database object. The config database is parameterized by the type of the value that we're going to be configuring, in this case, a virtual interface of type.if. The arguments to the set call are a prefix and a path. So we put these together to create a hierarchical path to the object that is going to be getting the value out. In this case, it becomes UVM test top, which is always the name of the top level test in UVM. Then we specify the name value pair. So the name in this case is called dot underscore VI. So when the test looks for something called dot underscore VI, it will get the value of, in this case, a pointer to dot IF1 in our top level module. After that, we call run test, which will create an instance of the my test class. And inside of my test, as we'll see, it will go and get this value from the configuration database and then execute the test. So in that test, we extend from the UVM test base class we have a configuration object of type my.config that we'll call .config0. And inside the build phase of the myTest class, we construct an instance of .config0. And then we call the get method of the UVM config database. So again, this is a static method of the config database. It is parameterized by the type of the value we're looking for, in this case, virtual.if. And the arguments to the get method are a prefix and a path. So the prefix in this case is this, which is UVM test top, because this is the top level test. And then there's nothing after that. So we put the prefix and the path together, and those specify a scope that we match against the prefix and the path of the set call. Then we look for the field name. And when we get that value, we will put it in this case, inside of the dot VI element of the dot config zero configuration object. And notice we put this inside of an if statement. So if for some reason that get call fails, then we issue a UVM fatal message, which says there was no dot interface, therefore I cannot continue, and we exit out of the test. We do other dot configuration settings here, and then from the test, 
we are going to call UVM config DB set. In this case, the parameterization is of a my.config object. And so we're going to pass into it the dot config zero to we use the star. So any element that's looking for something called dot underscore config will see the value of dot config zero, which includes in it the dot vi pointer and any other configuration settings that we may have done. Now inside of the agent, there's a component we'll call a driver. And this is the thing that actually connects specifically to the dot. So it has in it a virtual dot IF that we'll call dot underscore VI. And we'll just use underscore VI to indicate that it's a virtual interface. So again, this is a component in UVM. It has the same constructor and the same build phase that we talked about before. In the run phase now, we will raise an objection here and then we can access the pins through the virtual interface. So dot VI dot data allows us to set the values for that. And then when we're done with that, we will drop the objection to end the test. So when we set and get configuration values, again, the config DB is parameterized by the type of value that we're setting. And all of the values inside of the config database are grouped by scope. The scope is made up of the path that is a co combination of th this pointer and the path name that we specify. So on the set, we use this and some path that we're going to specify, which is typically a relative path from whatever component is doing the set. And then on the get, the scope is made up of this, which is the hierarchical path to that component. And the path is typically a null string because we don't want to go anywhere below us. You can actually create a longer path using this and some other string if you want to actually configure something below you in the hierarchy. We don't recommend doing that. So when you call set, you use this and whatever the relative path is from the component that's doing the set. And on get, you use this and the null string to specify that you yourself are getting it. And then the name and the value pairs match up. So the path and the field names can contain wildcards using glob pattern matching. So we saw star on the previous slide. So you can use that for any path that has an element of the given name that you're looking for. So the configuration database is scoped by this path and in any particular scope, we look for a specific name value pair and we set and get the values. Config information in the config DB actually flows top down. So the higher level will override the lower level. So in this case, at our lowest level, our UVM component is doing a get of the data name and it's going to use the object. So at the UVM environment level, we do a set using the star. So anybody that's looking for data is going to get object B. And then in the test, we're doing a set again using the star to anybody that's looking for data and we're passing in the a object so down in the uvm component when it does the get because the test overrides the environment the value that it will actually get is a for that object so to summarize we have an interface that we use at the top level module to connect to our dot we create a virtual interface that is a pointer to that interface object pass it into the configuration database from the top level module and then the test gets that virtual interface object from the config database, passes it down to the environment, the environment passes it to the agent, and the agent uses that pointer to the dot interface to communicate at the signal level to the dot. So that's it for this session of UVM Basics. Please join me for session four.